Overberg means over the berg or over the mountain from the south and aptly allows one over the berg into the interior of South Africa. There is an alternative road around and not over the mountain however, through Gordons Bay along to what is called the Whale Coast to the central Overberg. Gordons Bay is one of the oldest harbours in South Africa and we just had to experience the world-class tuna fishing from here first. And this time around, we tagged and released the big ones. Clarence Drive has been awarded the prize for the most scenic route in the world a few times over and truly is a magnificent drive. I travelled along Clarence Drive that leads one through the Kochelberg Biosphere, arguably the world's greatest biosphere. It has more plant species per square kilometre than anywhere else on Earth. And on the other side of the mountain, Clarence Drive is also the entrance of what is called the Whale Coast, due to its access to world-class whale watching. ocean boasts with great beaches for bathing and surfing. Dolphins, whales, seals and sharks are amongst the regular sightings from the lookout points along the routes. The lookout points also serve as good vantage points to photograph sunsets and sunrises over the ocean all along Clarence Drive. The road winds along Kuchel Bay, so named by the Dutch seafarers that named it after cannonballs or kuchels, that means bullets in Dutch. The energy of the waves and currents in the bay constantly roll and grind the rocks into the round shapes. They can be seen all along the coast and make great foreground subjects in seascape photography. is blue It's as if I'm stuck in yesterday When I'm thinking of you The well coast of the Overberg is also one of only two land-based breeding spots of the endangered African penguin colonies that can be found anywhere in the world. You could be with me So I lay my head to rest When the sun is rising I'll start mountains are covered with fine boss that include the protea flower species, South Africa's national flower. Clarence Drive ends at the Palmit River that is also the beginning of the beautiful town of Kleinwood. Harbour Road development in Plainmont is a popular destination for restaurants 
and a variety of shops, especially if Clarence Drive is explored for the day. It is also one of the hidden gems for whale watching anywhere in the world. Claymont has an international blue flag beach status with a proud NSRI unit protecting its coastline. In rare occasions, flamingos visit the lagoon and I was lucky to have photographed them on my travels. From Clainmont, it is a short drive to access the interior of the Overberg to the village of Bot River. Bot River gives access to the Fundestel Pass that was named after Adrian van der Stel and served as a way station for the Dutch Indian Company between 1699 and 1707, as the old buildings can testify. Bot River is surrounded by vineyards and good cellars that produce world-class wines. In August, the hills in the Overberg are painted with the gold of canola fields that attract visitors from all over to take photos of the ever-changing landscapes of the Overberg. It is also home to South Africa's national bird, the blue crane, that dance in their hundreds along the hills of the Overberg. The Overberg is one of the strongest farming communities in South Africa and forms the backbone of the regional economy.
Grain farming and stock farming make up the largest sectors. The ever-changing shapes and patterns visible ensures ever-changing compositions almost year-round. Farming has a rich history in the Overberg and formed the backbone of the initial South African sheep industry. Nardendal was South Africa's first mission station and formed the strongest mission community in Southern Africa from the late 1700s. It remains a unique tourist attraction with a remarkable ambience and tranquility and one of my favourite stopovers when I'm on photo excursions in the Overberg. Just a stone throw away from the village of Creighton, and also 2021 is a town of the year can be found. We'll be free. It is also one of my favorite weekend breakaway destinations. When you choose to take the road, sister, sing. Imagine all the words becoming. Elam is another old Moravian mission station with a rich history and culture and architecture worth visiting. Napir is a village one travels through on the way to the coast between Kaledin and Bredasdorp. A blend of century-old buildings, cottages, modern houses surrounded by the rolling farmlands which typifies the Overberg region gives it a unique atmosphere and a popular food stop with its selection of eateries. I popped into Straysby, a fast developing coastal town associated with good fishing and weekend breakaways and also a national holiday destination on my way to Agalas. It is rich in sea life and good fishing waters and host to an annual bullfish tournament. Seagulls were dancing all around I woke up with a sunrise on the sea Such a precious gift to me The salty breeze and the waves The slow pace The salty breeze and the waves I'm out of my place Agulhas is the southernmost tip of Africa. It is also the place where the Indian and Atlantic Oceans meet. Indian to the left and Atlantic to the right. Yesterday we followed the road of the moon. We drove it is a treacherous coast that are sprinkled with shipwrecks. It remembered me, the beauty of this life. 
Cassis Bay, the village on the outskirts of the town of Oniston, ranks as one of my top three destinations in the Overberg from a sheer aesthetical and cultural character point of view. It is an active fishing village and I still buy my fresh fish from here and it's almost a living museum. Time stands still in Cassis and photographing the handiwork and the architecture, especially the fireplaces, remain a passion of mine. Within view of Cassis Bay, Varnes Kranz is visible. Varnes Kranz is South Africa's largest unsupported sea cave and the multicolored lichen enhances one's experience of the cave. Just further up the coast, ancient intertidal stone wall fish traps are still visible in the shallow waters at the beach shack. These date back much further than 3,000 years and some older than 25,000 years. Staying right on the beach in a secluded beach shack was a highlight of my Overberg travels. To get to the isolated but beautiful Davenox River, right next to our beach stay over, we had to negotiate a rather steep decline. One of the main objectives was to do a bit of fishing for cob. <laughs> Fresh fish on the braai is what we came for and it is what we had. I ended my first round of travels through the Overberg at the Breeder River mouth. It must be one of South Africa's top fishing habitats and one of the best fishing destinations along our coast. I'm not finished with my travels through the Overberg, but so far I've found the Overberg undoubtedly a contender for the most scenic diverse region throughout the year not just in South Africa, but the whole of Southern Africa.